guys? Welcome back to Panda Gaming. This is your boy Panda. Thank you for tuning in today to find out what just installed on your PlayStation. The uh, 2.03 patch notes are here. Um, I'm just going to let you know what they fixed. Ground and pound. Ground and pound changed drastically. Uh, fixed various issues with ground and pound defense against flurries. Where it would freeze, it wouldn't block even though you were blocking. Uh, fixed an issue with damage received after posting a strike in ground and pound. <clears throat> you know how you hold L1, you put your hand up in the air. Even though you, you had your hand up, blocking the hook, you would still take damage. So fix that issue. Reduce the rate of stamina recovery during ground and pound. That's huge. So, you know, they can't just posture up, throw 17 punches, get pulled down. Post it right back up and throw a whole bunch of punches, okay? So that's gonna fix the thing. That's that's huge. Love that. Um, next up, we have Purple Screen. Purple Screen has supposedly been fixed for the majority. They don't know if they completely fixed it and took it out of the game, but it should be reduced greatly. So that's good. Because um, we, don't, we don't like the Purple Screen, you know? Uh, fix an issue when escaping choke submissions drain too much stamina. So you're escaping a choke sub and your stamina went all the way down to zero and it stayed at zero. So basically as soon as you got out of that submission, you were put into another submission because you had no stamina. So fix that issue. Uh, fix an issue of takedown feints. They were counting against your stats. So like if you're fighting and you fake three takedowns what's well, gonna say you went for three takedowns so they fixed that issue which is good because I don't know if that was scoring negative on you or not but it's good to just you know say hey I didn't miss 15 takedowns I only went for two really you know so that's big uh, up next we have added stamina attacks to the attacker for a low single takedown denier okay the low single is the ankle pick you know when Habib shoots across the ring grabs your ankle lifts your leg up in the air Okay, that's the ankle pick animation, and it added a stamina tax to the guy shooting that takedown, all right? So that's good. Uh, tune the stamina and damage on the backdrop takedown. So you know how people jump on your back, and you do the takedown where you jump down to back sitting? They tune the stamina on that. Fix the bug where headlock stamina drain was excessive. So if you're putting a headlock standing up, stamina drain would just, it was just awful, right? You know, standing guillotine. It's been a thing since day one. So fix that issue. And lastly, added the ability for the sub fighter, submissive fighter, to trigger an immediate escape after denying the backpack transition. That is huge. So if someone has you on your cage and they're on your back and they go to jump on your back and you deny it, you will automatically escape the clinch. Before, it would just stop him from jumping up. Now you can escape that, get back out into the open. That's huge. It's huge. It keeps people from just spamming R1 square, R1 O, you know? But anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed these pack note, patch notes. If I find out more information, like they left out something, I will let you know. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're hitting that 10K by Christmas, baby. Let's go. Thanks for watching.